Boiler room note. Oh, okay. You don't pick this up. That's just always there. I thought it was like a, another note. Ooh, points. This is so wonderful. I don't need this anymore. And now I can see inside the rooms. I'm going to do this. I don't have the red thing. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to do the same thing. I don't have the door trap spell, which uh, seems incredibly strong. But I can get corrupted hearts from those guys, right? Oh. That guy was kicking the hell out of me. <laughs> when I was uh, doing the practice, right? Poison. I have seven strange... Oh, let's go talk to... What am I doing? Let's go talk to the butcher. I don't need to worry about those guys for now. I'm gonna light this. <laughs> I don't trust this guy at all. Can I unequip the lantern? Kind of annoying me. Yes, good. This patient is dying. I need you to run to the laboratory and craft a tonic jar. Do you have the tonic jar, boy? I am a girl. You may just be of some use, boy. What do you want? Um... Well... What about you? I do have a name, of course, but I'd rather not sully my reputation in the real world. Finding work has been difficult for an old-fashioned craftsman like myself, so I've, I've had to do things I'm not proud of. That bloody fool, Joseph Lister, has turned the art of surgery into a complete farce. Dr. Blackett offered me top pay for a simple job. Each night I was to deliver to him fresh corpses and dissect them. He claimed he was starting a medical school, but there were no students. The bodies were to be anatomized in front of a curious window. The observer cloaked in shadow, a few nights later, when I awoke in the dream, the truth was made clear. I had been hired to introduce the dream to the mechanical operations of the human body. Now I stay on, assisting Dr. Blackett. Yes, but performing my own investigations as well. What about the dream? The dream affords me the rare opportunity to study the human body in exacting detail. We tonight the dead are reanimated anew, so one can truly practice in a way impossible in the real world. When I first arrived in the dream, I performed many an experiment on willing subjects. Well, mostly willing, I think. Progress requires sacrifices, no? For instance, I spent a few weeks slicing one gentleman's Achilles tendon in a different way each night. As you can imagine, he grew stark raving mad, but by the end I was able to consistently repair that hobbled foot. Don't even get me started on what I've learned about the brain. How do I get out of here? I believe I'm still alive in the real world. That's what everyone says. And that, in a few more nights, I'll awake as usual. Initially, I had only the faintest memories upon waking, but over time, I have learned to retain more. As soon as I awake, I pick up a scalpel and retrace what I have practiced in the dream. Additionally, I believe there's a way to escape the dream at will. But I certainly won't tell you about it, my little secret. Also, 
If I ever hear of you sneaking around Boston Mausoleum, I will cut your eyes out. Yes, boy? <laughs> How about that Boston Mausoleum? Oh, I see. You're not the new boy. You're a puppet. I'm gonna snip those things! Wow. Oh, sh shit. This is like the first boss, I guess. But do I just run? Fuck it. YOLO. What? Oh. Oh, we're remembered here. That's right. So I can die and I'll, I'll be back. Um, well, let's heal. Wait, what's my health at? 41. I got the voice perfect! I... Oh, I'm poisoned. Wait, it says I must be poisoned. Am I not poisoned? What is that? Oh, sh shit. That's so loud. <laughs> I'm gonna turn it down for you guys. Holy crap. Uh, I'm like, I'm like, I don't know what I do. Ow. Okay, that's fucking sounds done now. Shit. Oh god. I'm so bad at combat. <laughs> I should have practiced more. Oh, I have this. No. Oh! It's okay. It's okay. Well, now we know what to expect. <laughs> so, uh, I definitely want to use these. Did it tell me how much armor I have? I think I only used two before. Alright, so now... Light that candle. Um, this point did poison help? Didn't seem like it. Is it just going to immediately attack me? And what does the bell do? Maybe the bell will help me in this fight. Also, do I summon the dummy before the fight? I guess we can try to find out what's best. I'll just go through these. I don't know if it matters. Oh shit, I hit the wrong button. Oh, I have 
have you now. Come here, child. Okay, we're bleeding, so let's just do the bandage thing. Okay. I didn't have to think too hard about that. <laughs> right eye idol. This item is permanent. The right eye to an ancient stone idol. Small glimmering lights can be seen within. Name your price. We will pay it. I will find a way to transport this home if it kills me. 22 coins? The Corrupted Heart. Uh, achievement unlocked Surgeon's Blood. I would say uh, the combat needs to be tightened up a little bit, I, I think. Uh, but maybe I just need to get better. Like, I, I only practiced them once. Um, but it just feels like it's, it's hard to pull things off. But I'm also used to hitting B to, like, dodge stuff and not left shoulder button maybe i should just change the the controls my father hired him for some anatomization help dreadful man 200 hp curse hauler is 200 100 percent poison resistance okay quest complete <laughs> cool Um, who is it that wanted us to talk to the butcher? Uh, also... Corrupted Heart. Got a bunch of gold. Wait, does that did that come back? What did you need again? Oh, I have enough now. So the question is, do I want to do that or this? Do I have an item that I really want to keep? None of this stuff. Maybe one of the rings. Like crit. Not not really. I think I'm just gonna find those. I think it's better to just keep leveling up. Level four. Oh nice! We got our next gift. Maybe I should do one immunity. I have no idea what's good, guys, you know. Well done, Initiate. You have proven yourself worthy of possessing an advanced grimoire. Use this in the occult library to mix your waxes together to produce colors and spells. Your next reward will be at level 10. Your Initiate's outfit! Oh, that's awesome. Wow, we made so much progress this time. It's been great. I want to see these spells. Do I have any any wax? I do. And that makes sense. You uh, combine the different wax colors to make new ones also in turn gives you new spells. I, I assume I keep the grimoire, yeah. And then what is this? The right eye idol. Obviously, okay, this is like Resident Evil 101. We're gonna put this in the eye of some statue, right? Aha! So we've got green enchant spell. Suits of armor can be enchanted to do battle for the caster. The armor will follow the caster from room to room until it dies in combat. Health and damage of the armor scale with spell damage. How do we increase our spell damage? That wasn't an option. 
Unless I didn't mess around enough. Or maybe the outfit increases our spell damage. That wasn't an option in the leveling up. I call upon Agares to maketh, maketh run those that stand still. Harvest field spell. Creates a local field of vampiric energy, damaging foes and using their vital energies to heal the caster. The effect is subtle and will not be known to its victims. I call upon Vipar. Vepar? Vepar? To sap the vitality of my enemies. Uh, for 20 seconds, deals damage each second and heals the caster. That seems great. Three physical, so you can stand there and attack at the same time. Three physical damage, three curse damage. 15 curse damage to caster. Are they all 15? Yeah, they are. This is something they're probably going to like rebalance as in early access. So it's going to be interesting to like load up the game one day and it's totally different. <laughs> all the stuff that I liked is going to be different. Uh, curse ball spell. I was wondering, okay, so this is a range spell. Fires a slow moving ball of cursed energy. I call upon Astaroth to bring forth his noisome breath. Are these like real spirits, guys? I I'm trying to think back to my cult. Uh, by the way, if you like this, you might want to watch me play some of uh, Cultist Simulator. I played that way back in the day when it first came out and uh, kind of reminds me these these names kind of remind me of, of that. Uh, I call upon Astaroth to bring forth his noisome breath. Curse damage, physical damage, poison pact. Cool. So I think I want to uh, purchase some some more uh, wax. I would like the um, I like all of these actually. I need I need scrolls too. Is there other shortcuts? Ah, marble gap. With exchange with them. Uh, one thing I'd like for them to add, and I don't know, sometimes devs watch these these videos is a, if you hit B, it goes back, so I don't have to go to nothing. Little thing, but. Uh, so we need some scrolls. Cool. Let's let's ha have a bit of money uh, for an emergency. Overall, uh, I'm impressed with this game. Like, I'm really impressed with this game. It's very... I'm, like, super intrigued by it. Um, let's do Harvest Field. And Curse Ball. Oh, and Armor. Beautiful. No reason to not just cast that right away. What is the next thing that we want to do? I guess we want to keep looking in the basement to see if we can find this rusty cage key. Um, and I want to talk to... Her. I think she's the one that is she the one that wanted me to talk to the butcher you've met the first witch oh she wanted me to talk to the witch be cautious around her she is highly secretive and exerts a high degree of control over her initiates oh That's it. Is 
It'd be right. nice if um, it told you who gave you the quests, just because I have a horrible memory. <laughs> Uh, maybe it was the the pre the vicar. You're not you're not back. I think they were might have been an initiate. I don't think this guy. No. So it must have been the vicar. Concern too. Is this guy like there's hiding and stuff? Is this guy gonna attack me because I'm up turning into a witch? So was I sent down there to be set up? Oh, I'm gonna have to remember who sent me there. Because they must have known that I would get attacked. Um, did I get a key also? Or something? I got the right eye key. Blue secret passage key. Oh, is it the guy in the, uh, the mirror? I guess I'll go talk to them. He wanted the... Oh, and I had the spectral remains. I really know what I can... Maybe I can sell them to the to the wench. I guess I could sell the uh, rings that I'm not going to use. But nah. Okay, so not interested in the spectral remains. Nothing new. I don't have enough for another thing. Okay, I'm going to go try to kill the... I'm going to try to take a picture of the ghost that attacked me. I think I can craft, craft in the laboratory, sorry. I can't open that. I need to get there from the other side. I, I'll leave this on because I'm probably going to want it to see the... the little girl spirit. I'm not even sure if I need, like, if taking a picture of her is going to do anything. Hedgemaze shopping list. Spirit twigs, warding candles, camera, useful dr camera and dry photographic plates. Bible. Cursed explorer ring. Ring of perception. I don't think I picked that up, did I? Oh, we, we are, so we are taking notes of these. Okay, well, I've got spirit twigs to get by. 
We have got three warding candles. Four. Bible I don't have. Um, not sure how I get that. Curse Explorer ring. Ring of Perception. I don't have the Curse Explorer ring. Oh, cool. Let's just... Take a gander through here. Oh. My camera's... Or my uh, controller's shaking. That's gonna curse me more. I don't think I should go in there until I get the stuff from the shopping list, right? Interesting that when I went in here before, I got immediately attacked. Okay. You wanna hook me up with a Bible? One of my favorite spots. Hexed recently. Can't find the way through. This is in the center of the maze. I think I'm gonna go back into the basement and clear it out. But now I'm curious, I wanna take a look. <laughs> just, just that first level. Maybe those are just like, you know, they're helpful, not necessary. What? Is that a ghost? That seems like a physical thing. I can't peek. Oh, shit. That's a ghost! Oh, God. <gasps> What is happening? <laughs> oh, man. I'm like trying to move and I guess I hit up a little bit. Where did that thing go? Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a picture of her. Oh, I think I got two of them! Okay. Okay. <laughs> I need some more plates. We could sell that, get some gold, get some more photographic plates. Many subjects in this one. Uh, okay. Two. Cool. I wonder if the dude has the explorer's explorer's ring. You see what rings he's got again? 
Or that the one that they were suggesting I get. Hunter's ring, black cross ring. No. Okay. So now we've got two. It's possible I can't kill the little girl with this. Also, where did the body go? Did they go to the other side of that cursed thing? Oh, I think I did get both of them. Ghost child. Scary little thing. She nearly had me before I placed the warding candle down. Oh, fuck. What about the other one? Um, was that something I'd already... I think that was the, the one that I'd already taken out. Uh, bestiary. The ghost physician? Is it worth it to like... Do the spirit twigs cost me anything? 15 curse damage, okay, good to know. Oh, fuck. <laughs> that dude's on fire! <laughs> How do I make that crap on the ground go away? Um... I would... Poison? But like, if they're on fire, doesn't it just like burn the poison? Hit them from a range, I think is probably a good idea. Um, okay. Are you fucking serious? Holy shit. Oh. I only have- oh, I have this too. It's dead. It's dead. I'm also almost dead. See you. Oh, that is so creepy. Can I... I'm gonna get her, right, when I touch that? Oh my god. It's so annoying. Is there a way to put it out? I just... oh. That sucks that it's like right there. <laughs> it's like right there! Don't I have another plate? I do. Okay. I need, I need, I need some kind of healing. That's so annoying. Let's just see what's in the next one. Oh, a non-hidden path. Okay, you don't take damage. <sighs> oh. Oh, 
I'm not I'm not taking any unnecessary risks here. What do you got for me? Cost five. Or I can do the medicinal herbs thing. I will get one. I also want rain. Wait, what? I, I shouldn't that guy have been uh, unlocked in the best Jerry? Burning zombie. The dream steadfastly refuses my attempts to teach it fire propagation. Fire resistance hundred percent. I need some kind of ranged attack against that. POS. So let's get some uh, some acid. A lab. Fifty health points. Okay, let's do. To acid, okay. Uh, I also took another picture, right? A specter, how grand! And then I can buy another one, okay. Um, let's go. Guest bedroom. And we've got this spell too. Oof. I'm taking advantage of the I, I I have to take advantage of like the pausing just to think about stuff. Just so many different things I could use. I guess I could also... Oh. Can I catch fire? That's one thing I didn't consider. I guess it's just dab... It's just like... It's not a status buildup. Just like a damage over time if you're around it. So, would be good to use this. <laughs> oh, shit. That's so stupid. Um... Does it say... 20 seconds deals damage each second and heals the caster. Local field. That's not what was here before. Uh oh, oh, it's a ghost. Okay. Oh, 
fastball spell. Sweet. Don't hurt me when you go by. Okay, good. That's the other option is to just hide, right? Should I? Okay, what's my health at? 3470. I should probably be cautious and just keep myself topped up. Oh, it only has a little bit of health left. That's not its health. That's not its health. <laughs> didn't quite work out like I thought it would. <laughs> oh, man. I took a lot of curse damage, too. Wait, did that just... That didn't just appear, right? Oh, I'm stressed. I'm stressed. I'm so stressed. I'm so stressed. I'm so stressed. <laughs> Going into a new area, it's, it's really intense. Wait, it says zero of two. I have two plates, okay. Why does it say zero of two then? Weird. Oh, there's nothing loaded up, that's why. <sighs> I don't wanna mess with that dude. I'm gonna have to do it eventually though, right? Can't hide behind. Can't hide behind any of those things. I got you both! Wait, there might have been one in the background, too. Yeah, I think I got three. Frog's Eye Ring received 30% less poison buildup. Plus 5 poison buildup to melee attacks. Okay. That's pretty cool. Ow. Alright. Um. Load up another one. We're making it somewhere. Spectral remains. Let's manage that. Hopefully we can't get attacked while we're doing this. Treasure. Um. 
Um, let's do double damage. Cool. <gasps> yes, I want that unlocked. That's permanent. Oh, we found the mausoleum. Can I... Well, let's just check over here first. I think we're safe here. Ah, okay. And I can sell those photos, too. That's awesome. A specter. So five and eleven. Have zero. Let's get a couple of those. And let's get some more healing. I don't think there's anything I want to sell. Please change the music. <laughs> it's creeping me out. Oh, man. Let's get some blue wax. another one of those and I should save five in case I have to get another plate okay I can remove um, this right but I'm about to heal myself Go tonic. I also want to make some spells. I guess the best way to get to the spell area is to go to the wine cellar. Hi. Cool digs. Oh, I can't use the thing. Oh, yeah, I can. There it is. Oh, that doesn't take me to where... This takes me to my bedroom. Okay. Oh, shit! That hurts you! What the fuck, man? Fuck this! Go, go away. Oh, I should have put this down when I was casting the spells. Does that make that thing go away? sound like it. <laughs> um, I think something's moving around. Cult light. Oh, shh. I think this is a good time to take a break, everybody. <laughs> I've been playing for a while now. I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap it up here. <laughs> this is gonna be a few videos.
Don't forget to uh, to like the videos and subscribe to the channel if you guys are enjoying this. I am super enjoying it. I'll see you on the next one. This is Lexus Lovelock, Lovelock signing off. I can't even speak anymore because I'm so petrified. See you on the next one, and I love you all.